And suddenly we were climbing into the arena. At this point I realised, what a terrible mistake I've made. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X Life. As you can see, today I am dressed for a special occasion because I have a date with death. I received an invitation to participate in a gladiator's arena. Scott and Fwip built this huge coliseum and they captured some of the deadliest mobs on the server. So brave old me decided it would be a good idea to take part and throw my name into the hat. We've got a bit of a system here for how we're gonna be picking things. To make it fair for everybody, it's all gonna be random. So the mob <laughs> that someone will be facing is... Is... Boars. Oh, 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 I hope it's me. I hope it's me. I've gone here. The no fighter volunteer. will be <laughs> Joel. No. Oh, no. what? He gets an no. easy one. So Joel faced off against four pathetic boars, and he won himself three whole blocks of diamond. And it was all so much fun until the worst possible thing happened. Okay, we're ready for the next one. Fuck, do you want to draw the monster this time? Oh, oh my gosh, you're oh. <laughs> The end troll. Oh no! no. You say guys. my name and I'm logging out! Guys. The next monster randomly selected was the end troll. I've never even seen one before, but it sounds terrifying. And everyone else seemed really scared. So I also ran away. And then, they randomly selected the gladiators. Okay. The first name is the person not in the arena. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm lost. I don't know where the arena is. I guess I'll never be back there. Sorry guys. Oh, you told me I have to fight an end troll. <laughs> Catherine! Oh no! And the third name, oh. CPK. Ha ha ha. Wait, what do we get if we kill it? Getting 30 blocks of diamonds and three nether star blocks. Okay. 12 seconds later. First, they made us take off our OP armor, and then they made us wear this basic diamond armor, and suddenly we were climbing into the arena, and I was about to have my first encounter with an end troll. At this point, I realized what a terrible mistake I've made. Lizzie, <laughs> this is your fault! I know, I'm sorry! <laughs> Three, I'm to go straight. Oh my god! <gasps> yes, this was definitely a mistake. Ah! Oh, that's a Minecraft monster! Oh. Okay. It's after Scott! Quick, hit it! Hit it, hit it. Hit it. Oh, you guys are doing good! Is it dying? Ah! Oh. It hit me half a heart! Kill it! Oh. Oh. Kill oh. it! Oh. 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 Incredible. Surely Absolutely. I'd get the rewards now, right? I mean, what? I, I would like I to make safe. the argument that Lizzie and I did the most yep. damage. Uh, well, okay. You definitely I'll... took the most. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie and Catherine, would you like to remove your names from the, yes. from the dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> so now, as an unfortunate member of the Four Heart Club, all I had to do was observe the rest of the arena battles from a safe distance until it was time to collect my diamonds and my nether stars at the awards ceremony. Lizzie, if you like to come forth, you did tremendously in the fight. Your team could not have finished the battle without your sacrifice. That's very Here. true. Now give me my money. Three nether star blocks. Thank you. And then ah. Callum, four nether star blocks. Okay. And 54 diamond blocks. I'm so rich. Here, you, way, can have one. you can have one. You can have one. Oh, thank you. Wait, did you know that you can't convert these nether star blocks back into nether stars, Scott? <gasps> Wait, what? what? Wait, you can't? Scott! <laughs> They've scammed us! <laughs> So I may have died in the battle, but at least now I can go to the gift shop and get this cute poster that says I died in the battle coliseum and all I got was this lame poster. Definitely worth dying for. I will always remember this moment. In fact, let's put this poster up on the wall over here so I will never forget the stupid decision I made on this day. What's that noise? <gasps> oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> There's something in the basement. What is that? No! I need my bow, but it's in the chest. Ew, ew, ew. How do I get rid of it? Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's fast. Ah! Ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Ah! Oh. Kill it, kill it, kill it. My bow. Ew, 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 I touched it, I touched it. 
Okay, have a bow. I forgot to get the arrows. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Where are the arrows? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh no. Whoa, it dropped some kind of crystal. Cool. Now, let's just put some torches around so that never happens again. This may very well be one of the most disastrous days I have ever had in X-Life history. But the good news is I was able to add a crafting recipe for the nether star block so that now it will convert back into nether stars, which means I have 27 nether stars. I don't know what to do with them. So let's see what my options are. <gasps> there's nether star armor. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, let's make these. Some cute little boots, a new hat, some trousers, and a chest plate. Oh my gosh, I look so angelic. Now, let's make a sword so I can truly slay with this heavenly combo. Cool, 19 damage. My emerald sword only does 15. And we have a nether star left over. So I think we'll put that on display up here alongside my pet detective of the year award. I'm gonna rename this battle arena award. So I always remember that my third death was worth it for all these riches. Should be careful throwing those around actually. The server has no mercy when it comes to those entity wipes. Now you might be wondering what is going on with the Frog Prince Boutique since last time. So let's go and take a little look and see how much money we made. Oh, most of the rugs are gone. How much money? Look at all those diamonds. Oh my gosh, it's over two stacks of diamonds. These rugs are a gold mine and nobody wanted these ones. So I'm gonna take these home and I'll keep them for myself. Now let's see if we sold any of the roses. Wow. Is romance dead? Why is nobody buying my roses? Maybe there just isn't enough romance on this server. Luckily, I've been working on some new rug patterns. So let's place these down. Here we have a nice cyan rug, which I will price at 10 diamonds. We've got this little parrot rug. This will be six diamonds. Then here we have a yellow patchwork rug and a pink option too, of course. And these will be 15 diamonds each. And this next one is a little bit crazy, but we have a Christmas rug for 20 diamonds. And finally, due to popular demand, I made a rainbow rug and that will be 26 diamonds. Now, hopefully next time I check, these might have sold and I'll be even richer. But now I have to decide what the heck am I gonna do with all of my new diamonds? I think I'll do a little bit of shopping because some new shops have popped up around spawn. <gasps> This one looks cute. Crafts from Catlandia. Paintings one diamond each. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are so cute. I am buying all of them. Yes. Oh my gosh, a dream catcher and a cute bookshelf. Wow. I need to try these out immediately. Let's start with the dream catcher. You have to put it above your bed. <gasps> cute. And next we have these little shelves. Whoa, it's huge. Where can I put these? There. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And then we've got some kitchen stuff, so let's put that over here. Very nice. Let's put this shelf up here. And we have a huge bookshelf thing, and we'll put that in this corner over here. Catherine is so good at pixel art. This stuff looks so good in my house. I can't believe she was only charging one diamond for everything. That means I still have a ton of diamonds left over to spend elsewhere. Okay, technically these trees aren't for sale, but I just noticed them and now I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go home and build some of my own. So I think I will put them out here and we'll try and decorate this to look nice. First, let's make a raised deck and then we need a fence around it. This fence might be made of wool. That's a secret between you and I. Oh yes, that's looking good. Now we just need some cauldrons to act as plant pots for these trees. So let's make what? Oh wait, that's not a cauldron. One, let's put a tree in the corner and we just have to make the tree shape and strip those logs until we have a nice pale naked tree. And now we just need the leaves. So I quite fancy a yellow tree because I miss my old yellow trees. And now we just make this look tree-like. There, I think that looks so cute. I wonder if perhaps a barrel would look nicer instead of a cauldron there. <gasps> C'est magnifique. 
Now let's build an identical one on this side. And now we have two beautiful yellow trees. I think maybe we need some more flower pots going on. And we will keep our yellow theme. So we've got some marigolds, maybe a little buttercup. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> And a black-eyed Susan and one of my yellow roses. I think what we need here is a couple of deck chairs for my deck. So we just need sticks and wool. Very affordable. Let's make a yellow one and a pink one. So we'll put these facing my beautiful scenery. Now I can just have a little lounge. And I think we could actually make this scenery look a little bit nicer if we did some landscaping. So let's go crazy and add some rocks. And then some bushes, a few patches of flowers, more grass, and as a finishing touch, some planters. So here is my newly improved back garden. It's so much nicer than before. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of X Life. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. <laughs>